This is the Labor Day edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for September 3rd. I'm James Spann. Hopefully you're having a little time off today. What's that weather going to do? Well, let's get in there and talk about it. We'll start with some of the Skycam shots around the network. These were captured pretty early this morning, about 7 o'clock. That's the uh, Parish Skycam, which is south of Jasper in Walker County. And needless to say, it was a wet start to the Labor Day at that point. We'll go up to Cullman. Steady light rain is falling there. That's uh, Skycam at the Water Works facility just east of downtown, down below that US 278, and kind of an ominous looking sky on the Alabama Gulf Coast. That's the sky cam at the Dauphin Island Sea Lab south of Mobile. All right, well, you can see that weakness in the flow that used to be Isaac is uh, over us, and uh, that is certainly helping to kick off the showers and storms. In fact, you can really see the uh, surface chart, uh, and it depicts Isaac nicely. It's around Paducah, Kentucky. Uh, the pressure is 1,010 millibars, and uh, again, that is certainly aiding in the upward motion across the deep south today, and that's the reason we've got some rain this morning. In fact, that was the radar at 650, and just kind of a, a wet start to the holiday. It's not going to rain all day today, and the sun should be out at times, but like yesterday, uh, the storms during the afternoon and evening hours could pack a punch. The guys at SPC have a slight risk, kind of a narrow slight risk, right through central Alabama. That's basically areas along and south of I-20 and along and north of US-80. And they'll probably change that around a little bit today, but that seems to be where the maximum uh, will be for uh, the combination of instability and helicity. And uh, storms could produce gusty winds, uh, torrential rain. And like yesterday, there's, there's a chance there might be an isolated small tornado but understand these are nothing like the, the tornadoes we have in spring and fall, but yet they do you know pose a threat, and the warnings are issued, and we'll have to watch the radar carefully uh, later today and this evening. Tomorrow, got the risk area over the uh, middle of the nation, and on day three, which is Wednesday, a slight risk for places like Chicago, Indianapolis, and Detroit. All right, here's the rain for the rest of the week, valid through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock, and this is suggesting rain amounts of about uh, 1 to 2 inches for the state. And a lot of that's going to be today and tomorrow. After tomorrow, the showers should thin out, but then again, they'll pick back up again, I think, on Saturday as we start the weekend with a cold front coming in here. All right, there's the tropical weather scene, a um, little feature out in the middle of the Atlantic, the one with a 30% circle. If that develops by chance, it would recurve. Really, the only one on the board of interest is Leslie, a uh, tropical storm with top winds of 60 miles an hour. That's, uh, as you can see, uh, well north of the Leeward Islands. Moving north, uh, the guys at the uh, Hurricane Center bring it up to a hurricane by the end of the week and the weekend, but this thing is a very, very slow-moving system. I mean, it basically just kind of hang, hangs around out there all week. And you can see that Bermuda is in the cone. So if by chance you have a trip to Bermuda this weekend, be aware of that. But uh, this should not affect the United States. There's the GFS ensembles. And they ultimately curve it northeast well before affecting the United States. Bermuda, the only question out there. All right, we'll check the uh, GFS. This is the 06Z run. 594 heat over Texas. You can see that weakness in the flow. That used to be Isaac. And down below that, uh, the remnant low is north of us. And we'll expect scattered to numerous showers and storms today. And like we talked about, it's not going to rain all day. Sun ought to pop out every once in a while. But storms later today could be pretty strong, maybe severe. Same thing tomorrow. Looks pretty wet. Uh, we'll expect scattered to uh, numerous showers and storms tomorrow. And, of course, because of the... Um, uh, lack of sun, uh, temperatures will stay in the 80s. It's just been amazing to watch the weather in August, and it's kind of starting off that way here in September. The heat has just been kind of a no-show. Now, Wednesday, uh, evidence that perhaps we start to dry out a little bit here is the better chance of rain shifts on down to the south. And if indeed that is the case, we should reach 90 on Wednesday with only widely scattered showers. Same thing Thursday and the same thing on Friday. Uh, so for the latter half of the week, Heat levels come up a little bit with highs at or just over 90, and the rain chances go down. All right, let's start the weekend. What do you say? Ooh, man, look at that trough forming over the east. Energy is rotating down through the backside of that thing, and the associated cold front is coming through Alabama on Saturday. So uh, if this is right, that would suggest a mostly cloudy day with a pretty good chance of showers and storms. And again, it's not now. It's a football Saturday. You know, we've started that, so everybody wants to know about football. 
no doubt you'll need to plan on rain at this point. Of course, it won't rain all day long, but there could be some storms involved with that. So uh, the weather could be an issue uh, for some of the college football games. But boy, look at Sunday. <laughs> hey, uh, a nice, refreshing north flow and cooler air dropping in here. Uh, the GFS is showing a high of only 83. Maybe some folks up in the Tennessee Valley holding in the 70s all day. Mm, and then Monday looks just gorgeous. Uh, nice, cool morning. We'll probably start the day in the 50s. And uh, the high only around 80 if this is right. Maybe 70s. So uh, that's going to be a nice, nice uh, touch of fall there. We'll check the end of the forecast on the uh, 18th of September. Hey, look at the trough over the middle of the nation. And look at the cold air coming down the pike. I see snow potential there over Wyoming and Montana, don't you? Got the 540 line diving south. That almost looks like winter up there. Uh, of course, not affecting us. We're uh, warm, and then uh, we've got some type of tropical mischief showing up down there in the uh, uh, Caribbean, if that happens to be correct. And that's a big if. This is out there in the land of voodoo. That's it for the Weather Extreme video on this Labor Day. We'll get back to the regular two-a-day schedule tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We'll be working the night shift tonight. So if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.